Hello, you alright guys, this is Joe for 3 to 1 and welcome to a different kind of series. I'll be discussing who I thought were the top five top five players for the season gone. And we are starting with the fifth place Everton. And um, just to and remember this is my opinion, so if you're gonna hate, just hate so coming in at number five is Sylvan Distan. For me he was definitely one of their best players for this season. He was really defensive. Him and Phil Jagielk had a solid partnership. And then when he got injured towards the end of the season, I felt their season did start to deteriorate. You know, they lost to a couple of key games, you know, Southampton and uh, Manchester City. But no, he was really solid at the back alongside Jagielka. And number four, Gareth Barry. This is, you know, him sitting in front of the back four with James McCarthy again I thought those two had a good um, mindset if that's a similar word he was really defensive he was he definitely helped out the back four a lot in like keeping clean sheets making some great tackles as well and that's why I put him at number four because I thought he was the their fourth best player number three definitely Seamus Coleman he was definitely the best right back uh, in the country this season, he was really solid at going back, and he loved getting forward as well. Now I can't remember which game it was, but he scored a cracking goal. I can't remember the I can't remember who it was against, but it was absolutely outstanding. And for me, he, in my opinion, he's definitely the best right back in the country so far. And that's saying something coming from an Arsenal player, Arsenal player, Arsenal fan. And number two, Ross Barkley. He was an outstanding player. I mean, the goal against Newcastle, that solo goal was absolutely world class. The passes he made were sublime. I mean, he remi he definitely reminds me of Jack Wilshere. And I think that's why him and Wilshere will have a great centre-mid partnership in the future for England. Because they are they'll be absolutely fantastic together. They have a similar style of play as well. And number one, it's definitely Romelu Lukaku. Without his goals, they wouldn't, they wouldn't even go into the Europa League. They wouldn't even, ch they wouldn't have challenged for Champions League. They probably wouldn't even get to the Europa League. But him, his goals definitely worked for him. I mean, I think it was 15 goals in the league and 16 in all competitions. So he was definitely a threat up front, and he was fantastic. So hopefully, I've enjoyed this, lads. And if so, please leave a like, please subscribe as well. And I'll see you next time. Cheers, peace, and bye.